I never thought that I'd be able to study a course that actually lets me create what's in my imagination. What I find most fascinating about game design is the fact that all these different elements have to come together to create something amazing and unique. The game design development course in Majors are unique in that students get a focus on the creative and the technical side that is making video games. In our course, students have hands-on learning experience with lots of um, technological and creative products to create video games and they do this through our labs on campus but also for cloud located students they can also undertake a lot of these experiences through our ability to roll out software products. It's no longer a case of a gamer as somebody who sits in a darkened room for several hours and never comes out. In fact we're seeing game technology and in fact computing in general moving out into the physical world. Mobile phones are becoming increasingly popular, the devices on those allow you to interact with the physical world. We're noticing the, the popularity of robotics at the moment as well and that uh, has a number of tie-ins to the content that we deal with in games, being able to work in a three-dimensional world, being able to create animated creatures that are able to interact with us in the physical world and that's all part of the, the way in which our research is leading us and driving our teaching into what we believe is the future of gaming. The Deakin environment really cultivates the desire to learn and explore. The labs on campus are places where our ideas can come to life. We're given the opportunity to really hone our skills and explore. The staff encourage us to create things that we never thought was possible and they really equip us with the tools to do so. Here at Deakin we try to keep our games course as relevant as possible. So we've got people who are interested in the design aspect and the way in which we um, can interact with games, what makes them attractive and exciting. People who are interested in the technical aspects, designing the graphics and looking at the, the artificial intelligence aspects of the process. Deakin University Burwood campus has a state-of-the-art uh, motion capture studio which is available for students who study um, IT to go and use. You can study units in motion capture which allow you to do really cool things like 3D modelling um, and adding it into games and films and, and other animations that are uh, potential projects for you. We encourage our students to participate in what we call authentic exercises, ones where they're actually developing products that are being used by some of our external collaborators. The products that the students develop are parts of actual packages that are released to our customers and give them an opportunity to build up material that they can use as part of a portfolio. We use games to make life more exciting in the work environment. We use games as part of simulations. We use it as part of research to produce visualizations. And effectively, even in the, the physical world, the games are becoming uh, more and more integrated into our lives. For students who come in and study games design and development, there is lots of employment opportunities, not just here in Australia, but around the world, which is really exciting. Games is an international language, so you have the ability particularly to go work in areas like Canada, the USA and even in Asia, we're now starting to get lots more games companies that uh, really need uh, graduates with the skills and that's what you can get out of a game design development degree. I think Deakin has really prepared me for the workforce. The knowledge and wisdom that they've imparted has definitely improved my programming skills, design skills and even given me the confidence I need to succeed. I'm currently doing my third year here at Deakin University and I'm working part-time at Electronic Arts or EA Games which I get to work on titles like Real Racing 3, The Sims Freeplay and I'm really looking forward to the future.